everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're here with me today. We are gonna cook a Alfredo pasta dinner. And of course, as vegan style as we possibly can because that's what I like to have on my channel. Um, I am gonna say I'm changing up my like posting schedule um, some. So Mondays are gonna be meal days, Monday meals, Tuesday, toned so that's gonna be the only day that i post uh dance fit or any workout videos uh wednesdays are gonna be <laughs> hiking hump day eh, i was pretty proud of that one and <laughs> thursdays i'm going to try to film a different like mixed drink or some kind of like drink theme so it'll be thursday thirsty thursdays <laughs> um Let's see, Fridays is yoga post, so that'll be flexible Fridays. And Saturdays will be side-by-side -side Saturdays, which was my wonderful wonderful husband's idea. All right, anyway, so without further ado, let's get going here. So, of course, since it's a pasta meal, you need some pasta. Uh, whatever pasta noodles make you happy, I personally just love these. I like the texture, I like the way they come out, you know, there's a lot of the uh, plant-based pastas or uh, beans or whatever that taste uh, mushy when they're cooked or odd textured. And in my personal opinion, these are the best for that and they're made from chickpeas. So that's what I'll have there. Uh, for meatless meat, we have uh, Boca veggie crumbles and these are vegan and so i had read earlier today because i was doing some research on meatless meats and not are not only are they number three in the healthiest meatless meats you can pick um according to uh, a, a website i was on and i can't remember what it was called uh, i'll put the link down below anyways um but i guess boca does actually carry meat products that are not vegan so just double check, make sure it says vegan or um, read the back maybe. All right, I'm gonna need some broccoli, whether you like fresh, frozen, whatever makes you happy, broccoli. And then I had a few leftover vegetables here. I had a leftover happy little zucchini, so I'm gonna put zucchini in it. Um, pepper, whatever pepper you like. I'm not picky, I do red orange and yellow. I'm personally not a huge fan of green, so I usually stick to these colors. And onion, um, we got garlic here that we are going to fine dice. And last but not least, the actual non-dairy Alfredo sauce. So I had tried one before, um, I believe it was Victoria's, and you know, my husband, he just eats whatever I cook him, but truth to be told, he is not a vegan or vegetarian. He'll eat whatever anywhere. He just, at home, he basically eats completely plant-based. Um, when we'd had the Victoria one, he was not a fan of that one. And that was just his own per personal preference. He thought it was too, um, too rich, which I thought was a weird comment, but that was his take on it. And he just would have preferred to have a regular Alfredo sauce. This one, uh, we did a little taste test on it last night, and it's really, really, it's really good in my opinion. And he liked it too because it wasn't so rich. And it is Primal Kitchen No Dairy Garlic Alfredo Sauce made with avocado oil. So, it's weird when it dumps out of the container, I will tell you that, it's kind of like globby and like sticks together. It's not runny or smoother like other uh, Alfredos. But when it heats up, all that mixes together and melts in. So, and the flavor's really good. Anyway, so let's not waste any more time and start cooking. <laughs>
to dinner. Doesn't it look so delicious? Like, come on. Let's see. Take a little itty bitty bite here. Mmm. It's really good. Really good. You're gonna have to try it, guys. I put hot sauce on everything, so I'm sure I'll put a little hot sauce on it. Anyways, please like and subscribe for some more of my weird recipes, and I will see you around in my next video.